3 amps it's 300 watt hydrogen car <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's not hydrogen, it's actually brown gas, which is crazy dangerous because this motor is so hot. Why is the HHO car or the brown gas car not a good idea? In this video, I'm going to show you the all-in-all -all process, uh, what's going on in the system, what is coming in and what is going out. So in this video, there was a, a gas converted gasoline engine. So it has a gas tank. This is injected in the piston. Which turns the wheel of the car and thus the car moves forward. Now this motor has a battery which runs for instance the starter which is also an electric motor. This is a gas motor, this electric motor. So and this plus goes here the rest Minus goes to the chassis. So what do we do now? We add a hydrogen generator and this it's just a HHO generator and we produce hydrogen, which we also inject. Hydrogen is produced with the energy from the battery. And as we saw in the video, this has about 300 watts, uh, which was, uh, I think, 30 amps approximately. All this is rough, pardon me, 30 amps. So we pull this 30 amps out of the battery to produce maybe uh, this uh, not very efficient, maybe one liter per minute. Or um, I should I should actually calculate uh, with the calorific value of HHO. But anyway, this one liter per minute goes in there, and these are three hundred watts. Our engine has about uh, maybe this is a seventy kilowatt, seven thousand watt engine. So at idle, this might work, but now is a question, what feeds the battery? And there, there is a, a generator, which is also turned by the crankshaft. And thus charges the battery. If you are lucky, you have like, I don't know, maybe one kilowatt generator. So if you look at the system and you ask yourself, how should this car run? Yes, if it has 7000 watt to use to move forward and you produce with 300 watt, which uh, with an efficiency of whatever between 60 and 90 percent hydrogen and you inject it in the motor how should this car, car ever run from hydrogen the only thing which makes this car run is this gas there you store i don't know let's say 300 kilowatt hours and if you accelerate you have to use this gas in order to move the car what you could do, you could store the hydrogen and thus have also 
300, uh, 3000 kilowatt hours of hydrogen, but this is highly dangerous because compressed or even stored HHO in big quantities is highly explosive. And also at this part where the HHO gas goes into the motor, uh, the motor has a, if the cooling is, is perfect, has a temperature of 19 degrees Celsius and, uh, and the explosive mixture can, uh, the hydrogen temperature should be less than 100 degrees because if it's higher, then you risk that there is an explosion over here. So this whole process is firstly highly dangerous. And then secondly, how do you want to charge the battery? So if you want to store the HHO gas, then you need somehow to charge the battery when the motor is off. And there you need another generator. Uh, and there you have to ask yourself, what do I put inside here? So if there's nothing more coming in, then the gas is the only fuel actually your car moves. And that's also what you can find out. Even maybe if HHO and the water inside the HHO makes the combustion more efficient, you can maybe save 10% on your fuel economy, which, um, which is also like, yeah, 10% in this case, it would be 5% even. Uh, so I write five to 10%, you can save, but therefore you have all these technical details like this um, HHO generator uh, is just stainless steel. It should be 316L stainless steel. This you have to clean. So high maintenance, I risk and little gain. So you don't gain, you don't gain uh, range. You cannot run this thing only on water. Life is getting less because this is actually the only thing power and powering. And if the uh, motor has to run the generator on full load, the moment on the generator is constantly high, which leads to less efficiency in, uh, in your overall kinetic energy. So yeah, and this is what uh, also many HHO Brown's gas uh, test testers uh, found out that uh, just HHO injection in a motor is not the thing. I am also very happy to introduce you uh, in the upcoming videos that there will be a hydrogen, pure hydrogen generator. And I will explain a little bit about this. So feel free to uh, comment and subscribe to get the notifications. Thanks for watching.